a hot minute since I got to sit down and film a video for you guys. So I have a part one to a two, possibly three part video. Um, initially I wanted to wait until everything that I ordered got here to do one big like haul, but some things aren't getting here until later in the week and next week. So I just thought I'd go ahead and show you guys some stuff that I got off of Amazon. Um, and one thing that I did get off eBay. Um, so it's kind of going to be like a switch purses with me. Also what I got off of Amazon because quarantine made me do it. And that's probably going to be the title of this video. Quarantine made me do it or buy it because, um, I mean, it is stuff that I wanted and I just never got around to getting and I literally have not online shopped in months aside from like the few times I've ordered my um, energy drinks in bulk and like so that we wouldn't have to leave the house to go get them. So here is everything that I got from Amazon and I will show you my bag last and then we will go ahead and switch purses together. I am so excited and no I am not tired of this bag at all I just got it I'm obsessed with it I love it so much I will definitely be going back to that bag many many times there's absolutely nothing wrong with it I just found some really good deals on um, some purses on eBay and I kind of couldn't help myself like I said quarantine my mind is going crazy um, so yeah so First and foremost, I will say I did get myself a new phone. This is kind of the upgrade to the phone that I'm filming on. I had the Motorola Moto One cell phone, and this is the Motorola um, G8 Play, and it's slightly bigger, which I like. I got this clear case with it, and what I like is the the silicone around the edge like you peel it off and then the actual front of the case has plastic on it so you don't have to have like a little sticker screen protector um but I really like it that's my background for now it is 10 47 p.m and I did just wake up at 10 o'clock because I was trying to get my kid to nap for the longest time and I fell asleep too so yeah but I'm so excited that I got myself a new phone and honestly I did not pay much for this phone at all. I feel like it was cheaper than the phone that I'm using now. I feel like I paid like 200 something for the Moto One that I'm using and this was $134.99. Um, it had really good reviews and um, the case was only like $8.99 maybe and I did order another case with it, a more colorful one, but that one won't get here until later in the week or next week. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited now. I feel like when I do videos, I can like actually have questions pulled up on here on my phone for Q&As or if I'm trying to show you guys something because usually I can't show you because I'm using my phone to film. But I can do that now because I have a brand new phone. I freaking love it. I'm obsessed with it. Um, the next thing I got, I got this shirt and it said it was like, you know, for teenagers, you know, juniors, I guess. So I did order a large just in case because I also didn't know if it would shrink and I just, I wanted it to be a little baggier on me. This looks like it would fit. It might be a little big, but that's okay. But it says thick thighs, thin patience. And if that ain't me, I don't know what is. I freaking love it. Um, I was actually originally gonna put it on for this video and just show it to you guys, but um, obviously I didn't, so <laughs> there's that. Um, and it was actually pretty inexpensive. I don't remember how much it was, but if you want, I can link everything that I did get down below. Most of it was very inexpensive. Um, so yeah, if you want me to link everything, I will go ahead and do that. That's no problem whatsoever. The next thing is a snack. And I was trying so hard last night to not open it until I made the video. 
but I had to because curiosity got the best of me. But I found this Crunch and Munch birthday cake popcorn clusters and it's cake batter flavored popcorn mixed with mini sugar cookies and rainbow sprinkles. You guys, this is so good. Now it doesn't taste exactly like cake batter, but it's delicious. Like if you want the perfect like crunchy snack, this is a go-to. And it did say that it's a new product up here, but obviously like I ripped into it like a savage. Um, but it's really, really good. It was like $6.79 for the bag. And I feel like they could have definitely put more in the bag. They they left a lot of air in there. But at the same time, I don't care. It's delicious. I'm glad I bought it. Again, I will link it down below. Another product that I've been eyeing for a long time. Um, I have those cups, you know, the thermal type cups that keep your drinks either cold or warm and I love them because I can put ice and well, ice water in my cup and they're still cold the next day but I loved the style of this cup it is a, like a mason jar style cup with Lucy on it and it says Vitamina Vegemin for happy peppy people and it's a lot bigger than I thought but I figured this would be perfect for the summertime just fill it up with ice and water. It would even be good to sip lemonade out of. I'm, I'm not a lemonade person. I will drink pink lemonade, even though technically it tastes the same as regular lemonade, but we don't got to talk about that. But I am excited for this. I've been wanting it for a long time, so it's one more thing added to my Lucy collection. I did order this little bag of singles Neutrogena makeup remover wipes just because it was so inexpensive for this. I should have just bought a pack of like the regular size wipes, but I saw this first and added it to my cart. Like I said, it was super inexpensive and they're itty bitty so I can throw one or two in my purse if like I'm out somewhere and my makeup is bothering me or... I need to like touch up somehow and get a spot off my face. I can use one of these. So I just got this bag um, of these little bitty single makeup removers. I'm excited to have them again because I'm so tired of taking my makeup off with baby wipes. It does not feel good. I've also been wanting an actual coin purse for my purse. You guys saw my french fry one and I like it, but I've been wanting a cuter one. So I got this I Love Lucy one, and if you guys remember from past videos, I have this exact Lucy print on a wallet, so this matches one of my Lucy wallets perfectly. Um, I'm not using that wallet at the moment, but I just wanted a cute little coin purse, and so that's another Lucy item added to my collection. Give me just one moment, please just heard my son. I knew he'd wake up, but I'm hoping he goes back to sleep. Also, another essential that I really wanted for my purse. I wanted a pill carrier. That way I'm not constantly carrying around, like, my anxiety pill medication bottle with my info on it and my nausea medication bottle with my info on it, just because you never know. Like, if somebody were to steal my purse, they'd have um, I think my address is on there, my full name, all of that. So um, I got this really cute little thing. It says my pills um, and it's sparkly. And um, I did see Purse Trippin has something like this that she got from a store called Savers. We don't have a store called Savers here in St. Louis, at least not that I know of. I wish we did because she finds a lot of really good stuff there. Um, but I did kind of copy her and get one of these. I could have gotten like one of those really small silver round things, but it wouldn't hold as much as I want to hold in it. So it just has one of these that you take out. Um, and you can just put pills in each of these containers. So I plan on keeping um, some of my nausea medication in here, my anxiety medication, um, some ibuprofen, some Tylenol, and anything else that I think I may need while I'm out. So that's another purse item that I'm very excited to now have. 
Um, an item that I needed to get was some disposable razors, and I did already open it and use one of them last night. They're supposedly tropical scented, which yeah, I could smell that, but that's not why I bought them. And they're three blade, and I like to buy the Target brand disposable razors with four blades, but again, I'm not going to Target right now, and... I could ask my fiance to pick them up for me, but I, I swear he'd probably pick up the wrong ones. God love him, but he would. And also, I'm out of my deodorant, so I've been using this deodorant that really bothers my underarms. Like, literally, my underarms are so itchy and they're sore from scratching them so much. Um, and again, what's funny about that is I'm using an aluminum-free deodorant, but it bothers me. So I just want to get my Suave cheap powder fresh deodorant i found a two pack on amazon it's not going to get here till thursday but i did order another essential so yeah razors are a must right now I'm tired of being all hairy and then i did um i found this little thing of sunglasses i know you guys i have so many sunglasses and i'm always switching between them but like i just wanted like a really cute pair and i really hope this fits my face well so this did come with a cute little keychain um, that I might throw on all of my keys. And it came with a really cute little pouch to keep them in. And I like that it's yellow, so it'll be really nice and easy to find in my purse. These are what they look like. They're nice and big and square. And they are, I feel like they fit my face nice. And I just, I don't know, I feel kind of like stylish in them I don't know what do you guys think I I was gonna get black because black is my safe go-to color but I went with like the tortoise shell and the only thing I don't like about that is that the lenses are kind of tinted brown instead of black but I actually really like them and I think I'll get used out of them and they don't like you know wiggle off of my head they stay on my head so I'm very excited about these again I will link everything down below for you guys Oh, and it did also come with the little cleaning cloth that I'm keeping inside of here with the glasses. Really nice little pouch. Like, I'm shocked. They were like maybe $13 or $14.99, but to come with a pouch with it, like, that's awesome. Sunglasses are not cheap. Um, uh, this one little thing I got was this Physician's Formula Rosé Kiss All Day Velvet Lip Color in the shade first kiss so it's just like this little lip crayon i should have put it on for the video but i wasn't thinking about it but it's this super pretty like my kind of color mauvey toned really pretty i love it this is something that could be thrown in my purse in case i just want to throw something on when i'm out and about um it definitely would transfer i think so Okay, and the last thing that came from Amazon, um, for now, is I'm a huge Gilmore Girls fan, and I own the first unofficial cookbook that they came out with for Gilmore Girls. I paid like 20 something dollars for the hardback book, and I saw that they have the second unofficial Gilmore Girls cookbook, and the Kindle version was like either $16.99 or $19.99, very pricey for a Kindle book. But the hardback cover was only $4.99, which really, sh like, threw me because the first one that I bought was, like, $20 and this one was, like, $5 plus, like, $3.99 shipping. But still, super cheap. So I had to get it. It is Eat Like a Gilmore Daily Cravings, an unofficial cookbook for fans of Gilmore Girls with 100 new recipes by Christy Carlson. And I've already been flipping through this. And there's a lot of stuff like, ooh, look at that cherry freaking pie. I am all about, ooh, banana cream pie, pumpkin pie, apple pie, pie crust. Okay, I need to stop looking through here because there's just too much that it's going to make me hungry. Um, but this one has a lot of like, I feel like this one has more recipes in it I'm apt to make than the first one. But the first one does have some recipes I definitely want to try. Um, but just, I'm such a huge Gilmore Girls fan. I felt like this is something I needed in my collection because I, I truly love Gilmore Girls so much. Um, 
Aside from I Love Lucy, Gilmore Girls is like my happy place. It's a show I can always watch over and over and never get tired of it. I could put it on for background noise. I could put it on just to watch. I could put it on while I'm doing anything and just, it just makes me feel good. So now I have both Gilmore Girl inspired cookbooks. Now, this is what I found off of eBay and I got such a good price on it. It was like $10.00. It was either $10.99 or like $10.90 plus a few dollars shipping, but for the price, I couldn't pass it up. It is a Steve Madden purse. Uh, I'm trying to like, okay. So it says Steve Madden right there on the little gold hardware. It is a gray bag. Look at the studded strap I'm obsessed with because it like gives it that edgy vibe now it's not um ex expandable so you can only wear it on your shoulder longer I mean you, you could totally wear it crossbody but it would be a lot shorter than I would like it for crossbody but I I'm I may still wear it crossbody sometime but um then of course it has these two straps which is nice to carry like this and the straps like clasp together which is nice but it, this very front pocket is nice and roomy that's probably where I would keep like my cell phone and my most needed essentials that I needed to find right away and then on the inside it's just nice and big and open and it does have a zippered pocket back here in the back there's no slip pockets in the front but it is so freaking cute and I don't know what it is with me. Like I'm suddenly obsessed with Steve Madden purses. Um, so one of my purchases from Amazon that should have gotten here today, but then it said it was running late. Now it says it should get here between tomorrow and Wednesday or something. Um, hopefully it does. Um, was a Steve Madden purse and I paid full price for it. And, okay, so this is kind of like a quarantine made me do it slash I'm treating myself for my 30th birthday, even though my birthday isn't until next month. But we literally haven't been able to do anything for months. I have not bought anything for months, so I'm treating myself. Sue me, you know? So, um, I figured I would go ahead and give this purse a try since it did just come today and I'm so super excited so we're going to switch purses. That was everything in this Amazon box um, until the rest of it gets here. Another thing that's supposed to get here with my Steve Madden bag from Amazon is my new purse, not purse, watch strap. Because you guys know that watch I always wear, the silicone, like really messes with my skin. You can see how it like is peeling up and stuff. So I bought a leather leopard print um watch band it was twenty dollars but i needed it because i really love wearing that watch but the silicone is just really bothering me so that and the purse should hopefully get here tomorrow or the next day um but yeah so i'm so excited let's go ahead and switch purses even though i truly do love and adore this purse from my fiance oh oh i found something else that i bought when i went to pick up my medication on friday last week um literally right by the pharmacy like there's the aisle to go down with makeup but right in front of the pharmacy they have like this elf stand with all makeup and i saw this really pretty rose gold nude elf palette that i picked up and like I hid it in my purse so my fiance wouldn't see that I spent $10 on something I really didn't need, I just wanted. So, um, quarantine made me do it. And I mean, seriously, the, the first time I went to a store, a actual store, during quarantine was just to go to Deerberg's to pick up my medication. And I was in and out. And, 
Um, aside from that, I've only been to QT probably less than a handful of times just to get our energy drinks. But again, I've been trying to buy them in bulk on Amazon so that I don't have to go out and get them. And we have been to McDonald's a few times, but we just obviously stay in the car for that. But it's nice to just get out in the car when we're stuck in the house all day. And again, when my son wants chicken nuggets, I'm totally down because that's the only time I can get my fountain soda right now. And you guys know how I feel about my fountain soda. So let's get all of this stuff out of this purse. You never know how much stuff you have in your purse until you're trying to pull it all out. And then there's this whole other side. Oh, I have money. I didn't think I had cash on me, but I was wrong. Oh, and also another thing I did order, um, this really cute wallet that I thought was adorable, but that's not supposed to get here till Friday, unfortunately. So I'm just, I'm still going to use this for now until the new wallet gets here. But I will definitely show you that because, of course, I'm going to do a haul on the rest of the stuff that I get. Um, and then maybe I'll just like switch wallets with you once that gets here. But for now, we're going to use that. Um... And as much as I love my cute little dollar store sunglasses, I'm going to put those aside and put my nice bad boys in here. I just feel like they're like more stylish. They're kind of classy. I love oversized glasses anyways, but I don't know. I really, really fell for those when I saw them. And... I do like them enough to get another pair. If I do decide to get another pair, I'll definitely get black just because I'm drawn to black, especially with sunglasses. I just wanted to get out of my comfort zone with these. I was like, you know what? I'll do the tortoise shell because it's different and it's not something I would normally go with. So let me see here. Hand sanitizer definitely needs to go in. Um... Oh, I'm going to have to put my medications in that little thing. All right, my pens. I think I'm going to keep my mints and my gum. And my, rig, my lip products in that back zippered pocket. I am going to take this one out though because I haven't been using it. I really just like smelling it because again, I love that like maple syrupy smell. But I'm going to leave this just in the main part of my purse so it's easy to find. Actually, I forgot this purse does have this like little slip pocket back here, but I feel like, well, no, my phone fits perfectly. It does stick out a little bit. So maybe I can keep my phone there, but I feel like it'd be safer in this zippered pocket right up here. Actually, I forgot about that zippered pocket. So that's going to be where my phone will go. I'm going to put my chapstick in there. Um, I will put my wallet in there. My hand sanitizer. And even my sunglasses, I think. And switch out my mints. And then I'll keep these mints in that front pocket just to have some on hand where it's easily accessible. Put my mirror. Well, I guess there's no point in carrying around this case now because it's for that phone. Um, I wish I could use all these cases for this phone, but again, I'm obsessed with this phone. I love that it's bigger. I like bigger phones. Um, and like, look at the camera, the camera on it, it. And it takes phenomenal pictures. Oh my God. Like, 
I'm just obsessed, okay? I, I really am happy. So, I have so many cases for this phone, too. I don't know. And I'm not going to get rid of it because I feel like I'm going to film on this phone still. And I'm going to keep it charged up so my son can play all of his games on this phone. That way he's not playing with my new phone. Smart mama move there. Um, Alright, the couple of coins that are in this case are going in my Lucy case. I need to cut this off though. Or can I pull it off? Ugh. No, I can't. I'll have to cut that off. Ow. Mm, I'm not gonna carry this in my purse for now. I actually, I would rather try it on my lips first, but this color with this eye palette, oh, I think the combo would be perfect. I'm going to go ahead and open up my Neutrogena wipes. Oh my god, they're so much tinier than I thought. I really thought they'd be like bigger packets with like a couple in them, but no, they're like literally single things. But I'm going to keep a couple in my purse just to have. Um, Children's aspirin I'll keep separate from all of my stuff. Keys. I will still keep gloves with me just in case, but I have not been going anywhere. I'm going to keep my little tool set with me so I always have um, fingernail clippers. Actually, I can use one of them right now to clip this off. that. Um, I don't know if I want to keep this in there right now. I really want to actually like sit down and try and come up with more video ideas. I'm just, I feel like at a loss, especially during this quarantine, like what is there for me to do? But maybe I'll keep it out of my purse for now and while I'm sitting up I can think of more ideas and maybe write some more down and then I can add it back to my purse. Uh, am I missing anything from this purse? Yes, I am. My feminine product, which I will also put in this back zippered pocket. And my phone charger which i'm so glad well motorola i guess would all have the same chargers mine take type c so i'm glad i didn't have to worry about all of my chargers like only working for this phone and not my new phone but i am going to keep a charger in there and some sudafed that'll go in the back easily findable pocket um, I'm gonna go put these in my mom's room because she likes to collect points for the lottery tickets and stuff, so I'll do that. Um, I might need to scan these two receipts that my fiance bought stuff with. Oh, you guys know this has to stay in my purse at all times. Um, I don't think I'm gonna keep my camera in my purse right now. I haven't been using it. Um, the the memory card keeps saying it's full, even though it's not, so I don't know what's going on with it. And, I mean, not gonna lie, this seriously takes bomb photos. So as much as I love taking pictures on actual cameras, because I grew up doing that, I have this for now. So, this is my baby. I love it so much. Um, and I don't want to bore you guys by you guys sitting here watching me put medicine in these things but I'm gonna do like maybe four four Tylenol and I know we're not supposed to take ibuprofen right now but I caved and I've been taking it lately for my headaches because my headaches have been so bad and Tylenol literally just doesn't do shit for me I'm going to stop this right here and restart it back up before it 
stops on me. And we're back. Um, so, I'm, I mean, I'm not trying to take it all the time, but, like, when my head, ate, my head hurts as bad as it does sometimes, I just, the only thing that even remotely helps is ibuprofen, and I don't feel like I'm at, like, a super risk for, for taking it or anything, because, um, I just... I, I haven't had symptoms of COVID. I literally have only gone to, like, QT here and there. Um, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I'm fine, but I know we're not supposed to take NSAID medications. I'm just saying, like, for me, personally, I nothing else works. All right. So, we got nausea medication, anxiety medication, ibuprofen, and Tylenol. I'm so excited to have this adorable little, like, case. Now I don't have to carry, like, pill bottles around with me. Um, what else? Is there anything in here? Alright, guys. Well, that completes this haul. Slash switch purses with me. I am very excited about this bag. I think it's so cute. Um, I, again, I love this strap and it, I'm guessing it was used, but it doesn't look used whatsoever. There's no scuffs on it. It doesn't look bad at all. The interior is completely clean. So for her to be selling it for like 10 something dollars, I had to get it. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Quarantine has made me go crazy. Okay. So I did order a purse on Amazon as a celebrating my 30th birthday, like I've said, and it is Steve Madden. It's running late. Again, I hope it gets here tomorrow or the next day. That'll be included in the next haul when more stuff arrives. Um, but um, I also, there I placed a bid originally on a Steve Madden before I even saw this purse. And she had the bid starting at $199 and the shipping was $9.99, so I bid $5. Nobody else bid on it, so I won, but I only had to pay the $1.99 rather than the $5 that I bid, so I literally paid like $11 for this purse, and that one should be coming tomorrow. Again, it's another Steve Madden. There are a few tiny scuffs kind of like on the bottom of the purse and whatnot, but the rest of the purse looks fine, so I'm not worried about it. Um... And then I did find another Steve Madden. It's like a mustard yellow, beautiful purse that I kind of couldn't help but buy as well. That one's not here yet. It said it was running late. Story of my life. But again, it was another like $10 deal and the shipping was not expensive. So literally for all three Steve Maddens that I bought on eBay, where it probably adds up to the price of the one that I bought on Amazon. Because the one on Amazon was like $35.99 or $34.99. All of these together. These, these, all these Steve Maddens compared to that one. And if I would have known I would have been finding all of these beauties on eBay, I wouldn't have gotten the one on Amazon. I guess I could still cancel the order, but it's already on the way. And if I end up not liking it, I can just send it back and get my money back. But it looked really cute online, and it's more of like a structured, um, kind of nicer looking purse. So I want to give it a try. I'm excited. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, and yeah, and actually now that I have like an actual phone that I can show you guys in videos, if you guys want to know like what um what apps I always use and stuff like that I could definitely do a video like that like what games I play um most used apps stuff like that I don't know I've seen people doing that before so if you want to know like what apps I use on my phone what games I play let me know I'll do a video like that um anyway Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm so glad to have been able to make a video tonight, and I'm very surprised my son did not wake up in here. He did wake up and call for me, but I just told him I was in the bathroom, but he doesn't know I'm making a video. So now I think I'm going to sneak upstairs, 
get my boneless wings from Applebee's earlier. I talked my fiance into finally ordering Applebee's. I feel like I haven't had it since I quit there like six years ago. Technically, I did try to go back for two days a week when my son was born, so five years ago. Um, but I had such bad separation anxiety being away from my baby, I just couldn't do it. Um, so I just stopped going. I really did love my time at Applebee's though. I have horror stories, I have hilarious stories, I have all kinds of stories. I can do a story time on that. Working in a restaurant is definitely um, interesting to say the least. Um, but I had fun. I enjoyed my time there. Anyway, one of my favorite foods from there were our boneless wings and we used to have a flavor called sweet and spicy and they got rid of it and brought in a, a flavor called sweet asian chili which is basically like exactly the same as sweet and spicy so we ordered on the website they're only doing curbside to go you cannot dine in right now obviously with covid um if you order a what was it? A 20 count boneless wing, which would cost $32.99. If you spent at least $25, you could add, you could do like the promo code of 25 cent. And then the, the $32 boneless wings went down to $5 for 20 boneless wings. So we got my son chicken fingers and fries and my fiance got his meal. I got my 20 boneless wings for $5 instead of freaking 32 I don't know who would pay that. I feel like they're doing that promo code thing right now during COVID just so that they can get people to order from them and still give them business. But hey, do what you got to do. I will gladly pay $30 and get some $5 boneless wings. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to go grab my boneless wings, eat, throw this video together and try to enjoy some time alone. Oh, I did not show you guys yet. Hang on. This is my baby. I'm obsessed with it. Oh my God. So my fiance was kind enough to order it for me. I'm looking at it as kind of like, even though this was my birthday present early, I'm looking at this, since it was a pretty penny, as like a Mother's Day slash birthday present because he loves me. Um, so of course I got Animal Crossing. I'm completely obsessed. My son even loves playing Animal Crossing. So I have my profile and I made him a profile. So I have my little character. He has his own little character. Um, and then I have Minecraft for him, which guys, if anybody knows how to play Minecraft, please let me know because we are having so much trouble figuring it out and my son really wants to play it. Um, I also got Mario Kart and I downloaded, I think for free, an asphalt racing game. And then I did download because it was super cheap, Hello Neighbor, because my son watches like these kids on YouTube play Hello Neighbor, not like the video game, but they play it in real life. So I thought it'd be a game that he would enjoy, but like, I had trouble figuring it out so I mainly play Animal Crossing but I did finally try out Mario Kart last night and I love it so much fun and I'm always Toad. Toad is my character um but yeah if I can figure out how to get my friend code if anybody plays Animal Crossing on the N Nintendo Switch I will place my code down below feel free to add me visit my island it's not very you know set up yet I literally just got my house um, from having my tent, I'm still, I'm still, you know, all of that, but I would love to visit your guys' islands. I'd love to be your friend. Just let me know down below in the comments. Um, and yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!